okay good evening everyone so uh, today we will start some concept as i mentioned uh, we will discuss uh, today the idea what is rule of law what is administrative law judicial review judicial activism the concept of judicial over reach today also this is article judicial over reach the concept of due process of law and procedure established by law okay so we will discuss this <coughs> rule of law administrative law judicial review judicial activism judicial overreach which is a criticism nowadays and uh, what is the concept of due process of law uh, law and procedure established by law and how the indian administration a, a maintain a balance between due process of law and procedure established by law it is neither be a bias towards anything so all this thing we will discuss so a rule of law simple thing try to understand rule of law that means law law rules <coughs> they govern they govern their rule that means it is a law law of the land law of land that rule that govern and it is not any person at a particular position so this is we can call rule of law so many time the statement is rule of law and not rule by men rule by any person so this is rule of law so when you use the term rule of law that means <coughs> law is same for everyone law treat everyone in equal manner Law treat everyone in equal manner. Hello. So uh, in Indian Constitution, equal protection of law and equal protection by law. <coughs> so law protect everyone equally. Same treatment. Hello. So we can call equal treatment. Equal treatment by law. So this is the concept of rule of law. Hello, rule of law. So rule of law, Dicey. Dicey uh, was a professor of UK. He support the concept of rule of law. Hello. And I see also said that in UK rule of law was prevalent, but it is different thing that I see was unaware about many facts. Now, rule of law, you clear that everyone, every citizen uh, treated equally by law is rule of law. The court treat everyone in an equal manner. <coughs> Next. 
and in India we can call that in India we have rule of law. So law treat everyone equally. Yes, agree that there are certain constitutional position like president, governance, governational position. President and governor, they enjoy certain immunity. Enjoy immunity. Immunity from prosecution. But uh, uh, we can say that this not violate the concept of rule of law. It is just giving them some special treatment. You know, just providing them the president and governor and some position of government or immunity, get immunity from prosecution. Okay. <clears throat> this we can call the concept of rule of law. <clears throat> After that, administrative law. Listen, administrative law means law uh, pertaining to administration. <coughs> law related to administration, we can call administrative law. Any law that empower administration, empower administration, any law <coughs> that establish relation between citizen administration power of administration relation between administration political executive we can call it administrative law and this law also protect administration so it empower administration it also protect the administration <coughs> law that empower administration so that administration function in a best possible manner suitable manner we can call this administrative law hello and yes administrative law it is all nation it is found in every nation it is found in every nation concept of administrative law. Ebe. So everyone clear? Rule of law is, law is equal for everyone. And you are, you are now a student, you are now a citizen. So what rule of law is applicable on you? In future when you become a uh, Odisha civil servant official, you are part of administration. At that time also rule of law is same. If as a OS you do a crime, you will get the same punishment equally as a common citizen. So this is rule of law, but <coughs> as a OAS, you enjoy certain power, you enjoy certain authority, you enjoy, um, uh, 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 you have certain responsibility, accountability, all this in administrative law. All this found in administrative law. So I am going India prospective the concept of delegated legislation yes it is part of administrative law the concept of administrative adjudication or what is tribunal the, those are also part of the concept of administrative law any law means for example I think a civil servant, uh, the concept of all India service conduct rule or Odisha government or Odisha civil servant conduct rule, all this we can call part of administrative law. Because this all India service conduct rule give power to administration and also it regulate administration. 
So law that empower administration, law that regulate administration, we can call administrative law. So yes, when you become a OS, IAS or yes, maybe all India service, central service or Odisha administrative service, there are you are regulated by certain law. You are regulated by certain law. Your conduct is special. Whatever power you use as an administrator is part of administrative law. The authority of civil servant, it comes from, we can call administrative law. A set of law, a very simple way to understand. Administrative law are a set of law regulation that is related to administration. That is not you as a citizen, that is not applicable to you. <coughs> it is not applicable to you. Huh. You as a citizen, your relation with administration, certain aspect come under administrative law. Hello? So clear? This is administrative law. <coughs> Rule of law administrative law both need to have a balance it was found sometimes many times it was found that administrative law might violate the concept of rule of law when administrative law violate rule of law when administration start discriminating between member of state and common citizen <coughs> this will become a problem so he given an example of france in france what ha what happened there is two set of law two set of law one is for state one is for citizen again there are two set of court for administration, it is administrative court, it is citizen normal law court. For citizen, it is normal law court. How do I see? Hello. So, this become a discrimination between citizen and administration. And if you are member of administration, you will be trial in administrative court. <coughs> this also known as droid administrative droid administrative or dual law system and the highest appellate council died in france france concept so everyone clear if in india we say rule of law means law is equal for everyone so dicey is a vocal critique of france dicey say in france rule of law is not there because france treat member of state, member of administration differently from uh, citizen and there are special court, special rule for member of administration that is administrative law which violated the concept of rule of law. Hello? <clears throat> After that, it is administrative law, rule of law. After that, just uh, UK. In UK, Dicey said in UK, rule of law is there, that law is equal for everyone. But Dicey was ignorant because in UK, the crown enjoy immunity. The crown can do no wrong and also some section or member of state, they also enjoy, enjoy immunity. The king can do no wrong. And in UK, tribunal are there. So what is tribunal? Administrative court or administrative adjudication. <coughs> Hello? So Dicey was ignorant. Dicey was ignorant about UK. And he said rule of law is there. But actually no, rule of law is not there. In UK also, the concept of administrative law is there as Crown uh, got immunity, member of state uh, have immunity and many tribunals are come up in UK. Hello, this is 
UK. So, ha, that I am coming to, uh, that I am just coming. So, now let us discuss the concept of procedure established by law. So, procedure established by law, which is opposite to due process of law, it is found in UK, procedure established by law. What is that in UK? The parliament is sovereign. Hello? In UK, the parliament is sovereign. UK, the parliament is sovereign. That means, Parliament can do any thing except change a man into woman and woman to man. He can do anything. He can pass any law. No one can challenge. No one can challenge Parliament. So, this is what we call procedure established by law. Preliminary authority law, procedure established by law, due process of law, and देखो preliminary authority law and eta concept बहुत hardly जो दी जोने जानी थी वो तबे जाएं से question करी पारी वो and this is part of governance question ten question authority law so yes in future also prelim probably will help you in prelim it will help you in prelim forget about mains it will first help you in prelim so this is procedure established by law Parliament is sovereign. Hey, hola. And just connection in India. In India, as we follow we, uh, UK's parliamentary system, in India also we can call Parliament is sovereign. Hello. In UK, Parliament is sovereign. <coughs> okay. So, everyone clear? What is procedure established by law? What is sovereignty of parliament? I hope everyone clear. What is sovereignty of parliament? What is <coughs> uh, uh, parliament uh, sovereignty of parliament and the concept of due uh, concept of procedure established by law? Next, UK. After that, we discuss about USA. In USA, the concept judicial supremacy is there. Judicial supremacy. That means judiciary can overturn law formulated by legislator or executive so this power is known as due process of law here rigid rigid law once parliament is formulated law it is fixed but usa it is judicial supremacy and here <coughs> Any law made by legislator and executive, the judiciary can overturn it, the judiciary can change it. It is due process of law. I hope everyone clear. This is due process of law. Under this, judiciary has the power of judicial review. Hello? Judiciary has the power of judicial review under this concept. Due process of law, judicial supremacy. Hello. So, what happened under when legislator executive formulate a law and if this law violate constitution? Judiciary declare it 
null and void <coughs> under the concept of judicial review <coughs> judiciary declare it null and void under the concept of judicial review clear and india india has adopted the concept of judicial review from usa so we can call indian administration is a balance between procedure established by law and due process of law hello so indian administration or indian constitution is neither completely procedure established by law nor due process of law so it is a amalgamation it is a mix it is a balance between both this this might be a question hello so in india we have parliamentary sovereignty in same same time judicial supremacy so <coughs> judicial review in india actually <clears throat> no idea about uh, the relationship between uk uh, king and parliament actually i haven't read uh, anywhere uh, <coughs> in uh, us i knew but the uk i haven't read anywhere that whether uh, what power uh, he can return or he is compulsory reject uh, no no idea <clears throat> in uk uh, no idea the relationship between the king and parliament so judicial review in india so yes judicial review part of due process of law and in judicial review <coughs> itself judicial review it is itself a basic structure of indian constitution judiciary can review any part so to counter this the comment come out with ninth schedule the government said that anything kept under the ninth schedule is beyond the scope of judicial review that anything under this is immune from judicial review so judiciary judiciary rejected reject the ninth schedule itself <clears throat> and judiciary said no i can review any part i have the power to review any law any act of uh, the government of india hello and the most recent one was the 99 constitutional amendment national judicial appointment council njsc was rejected by supreme court under the concept of judicial review because njsc it violate basic structure of indian constitution <coughs> what is the basic structure the basic structure is <coughs> independence of judiciary the basic structure is independence of judiciary ha huh. independence independence judicial supremacy means <coughs> judicial supremacy means uh, supremacy means judiciary is supreme judiciary can supreme means it is not uh, uh, no one is more power everyone is balanced but judiciary can as judiciary is the final interpreter of constitution so judiciary can interpret any law and just judiciary makes sure that any law act formulated by the parliament or the executive it should not violate the ethos of constitution that is the sole aim of it this is what we call judicial review everyone clear judicial review and judiciary 
always try to protect the basic structure of Indian constitution. And what is basic structure? Again, it is the judiciary who will decide. It is the judiciary who interpret that these, these are basic structure of Indian constitution. Hello. So this is judicial review. Next. Judicial activism. Today there is an article on judicial activism. <coughs> oh, it was not mentioned. What is basic structure? It was not mentioned. Again, it is the judiciary who interpret <coughs> that this is basic structure. This is not. And it is a new process of law. It is a continued process. In future, there might be judiciary say this, this are basic structure. So it is not fixed. It may change. So judicial activism is simply when judiciary play the role of an activist, it is judicial activism. Judiciary play role of activist. Huh? When judiciary play the role of a activist, it is judicial activism. When? What is the need? When judiciary found that vacuum in governance by legislator and executive, mostly executive, when judiciary feels that executive not doing its work properly, at that time judiciary come into action. <coughs> judiciary direct executive to do work. Huh. In COVID time related to oxygen supply. <clears throat> this is judicial activism. But problem is many times you have heard this term. Today itself there was an article I have given in a group and I, I request everyone to read that Kiran Riju, the law minister. They said judiciary every time close the Rakhman Lekha. If judiciary function as executive through the concept of judicial activism, Riju say, then what executive do? Bujha. Jodi judiciary executive ra kama kori ho, to executive kona kori ho. This is a question raised by uh, uh, Riju, Kira Riju. So he said judiciary should not, there must be a Lakhman Rekha. He said legislator do its work, executive do its work and judiciary do its work. Hello. So judiciary should not encroach. <coughs> but again, Supreme Court say no Lakhman Rekha in governance. Judiciary say we cannot remain mute spectator when governance is in uh, dilemma, governance is in jeopardy. Hello? We cannot remain mute spectator. There is no Lakhman Rekha in governance whenever there is a vacuum in governance occur judiciary involved hello whenever there is a vacuum in governance occur judiciary involved so you cannot stop us we want good governance so we many times supreme court say no need of judiciary to give a direction the reason judiciary give direction is inactivism of executive. Hello? 
the reason of judicial activism is inactivism maybe you find a question the reason of judicial activism is inactivism of whom judiciary <coughs> sorry inactivism of executive explain or lakhman rekha type this type of question uh, in uh, uh, mains might come <coughs> So this is the concept of judicial uh, activism and it was criticized as judicial over reach. It is going to judiciary encroach into the area of executive. Judiciary executive area ko yetho encroach koruchi. Naku ko hauchi judicial over reach. But listen, you you should not use you should not use uh, uh, or justify it try to avoid you just write that sometimes executive criticize Hello? you don't say if someone asks you a question what do you think judicial overreach is true don't say huh, yes sir judicial overreach no 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 this is actually a criticism so you never uh, justify the term yes sir judicial activism is there no and someone has said uh, NJC is Rejecting NJC is part of judicial activism. No, it is not part of judicial activism. It is part of judicial review. Hello. So, so rule of law, administrative law, judicial review, judicial activism, judicial overreach, due process of law, procedure established by law. <coughs> Hello. Due process of law, procedure established by law. If anyone have any doubt. Please ask. Hello. And just for your information, a uh, new batch will start from uh, today. Hello. Uh, 10, 10 p.m. So this is the last batch before means. So 10 p.m. start. Uh, you can attend both the batch at 10 p.m. and 8 p.m. So course will complete before means. So everything we will discuss both paper 1, paper 2, all previous year mains portion and yes there are 12 mock, 12 mock tests included and uh, uh, you have live recording class and doubt clearing class. Judicial overage, this is what is I said judicial overage, judicial it is actually a criticism, judicial overage is a criticism. Ujo. Judicial activism ku executive ko uchi judicial overreach. Executive ko uchi judiciary ku listen. Executive what a for example ko uchi tamu de judiciary. Judiciary this is executive. Executive implement law. Judiciary interpret law. Hella. <coughs> judiciary executive hella <coughs> ebe implement law judiciary law and order law and order koribo provider of goods and service but jodi judiciary kohila executive ko tome law and order thik se ho nahi judiciary dakila director general of police odisha ro dgp ko judiciary dakila judiciary kohila tome thik se kaam koruna this is judiciary ko uchi eta judicial activism but executive kochi, this is judicial overreach. If you go, hello, Tome hello executive, muhele judiciary. Tomo kamo kumu kochare, Tome se kamo koruna. Mu dakuji tomo director general police ku chief secretary ku without consulting the political executive. The political executive kono kojundi. Yare apono, you do your work, you just interpret law. Why you should involve in governance? Law and order code is thick chali bo. Kaha ko ame oxygen the bo, kaha ko nitrogen the bo. Bujha, that is our work. Let us do it. Why you involve? Pura whole se bujha concept ta. Executive ko uche judiciary ko, tomay khali interpret karo law ko. Tomay kahi ki involve hoja? Executive part re kahi involve hoja? So, Taku executive coachi, this is judicial overreach. Overreach. Tome Akupolojo. Lockmon recording Akupolojo. <coughs> but judiciary coachi, ki kichi lockmon recanahi. There is no lockmon reca. 
whenever found whenever i found that yes there is a problem in governance whenever i found that a uh, vacuum in governance what example do chi bhuvneshwar re law and order ro bahut kharap sthiti hi gala bhuvneshwar re a uh, problem in law and order chain snatching murder dokayati bahut hala to ede control karibo ki it should be controlled by the executive the uh, home ministry judiciary dakila चीफ सेक्रेटरी को जुडिसीरी डाक डीजीपी को एंड जुडिसीरी पूरा ट्यूशन गला कि तुम्हें तो मत रिजल्ट दरकार जल्दी से जल्दी तुम तो ठीक करो सिचुएशन ताकू होम मिनिस्ट्री कह दिस इज नॉट गुड यहाँ आम कम बुझल तो कनसेप्ट होम मिनिस्ट्री कह अरे आम लॉ एंड ऑर्डर ठीक करू वाई सुड इंटरफेयर व्हाई सुड यू इंटरफेयर बट जुडिसीरी कह नो मत लगला कि भैक्यूम इन गवर्नेस हेज ए रईज मत लगला कि यू पीपुल आर नट डुईंग योर वर्क प्रपरली सो आई कैन नट रिमेन ए म्यूट स्पेक्ट्रेटर सो आई इनवल्व सो आई इनवल्व दिस इज नट जुडिसीआल ओभर रिच दिस इज जुडिसीआल एक्टिविजम देख एक्टिविजम और रिव्यू भितर गोटे ल धर गोटे गवर्नमेंट गोटे ल आनला दैट ल को जुडिसीआरी नल एंड भयड कर दैट इज रिव्यू एक्टिविजम मान एनिथिंग एनिथिंग जुडिसीआरी कि जुडिसीआरी कहला दिल्ली में पल्यूशन बहुत हो जाऊँगी दैट इज कौन जुडिसीआल एक्टिविजम हम दिल्ली में पल्यूशन बहुत हो गला बाबू तुम पल्यूशन कम कर तुम जहाँ कर कर पल्यूशन कम कर दैट इज एक्टिविजम लोक अक्सीजेन मिलना नहीं कॉविड रे तुम अक्सीजेन दि एक्टिविजम बट गोटे ल गोटे पार्टिकुलार ल आसला ल को जुडिसीआरी चेज कला ल को कैनसल कला दैट इज जुडिसीआल रिव्यू <coughs> like national judicial appointment council and who is law judicially declared non and void if that particular law violate the constitutional ethos if it violate uh, uh, or impact over in, uh, fundamental right of citizen only in that case judiciary declare it non and void <coughs> clear हेला तो पूरा क्रिस्टल क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट रख जुडिसीआल रिव्यू जुडिसीआल एक्टिविजम जुडिसीआल ओवर रिच व्हाट इज रूल ऑफ लॉ व्हाट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव लॉ व्हाट इज ड्यू प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉ व्हाट इज प्रोसीजर एस्टाब्लिश बाय लॉ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट थिंग ओके सो यस सो दिस इज फॉर टुडे एंड टुमोरो एट सिक्स पी एम वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मिनोब्रु कन्फरेन्स वन Uh, what is new right philosophy <coughs> what is the need of new right philosophy and why the need of new public administration uh, we will discuss tomorrow okay so meet you after one hour uh, in our class 8 pm and again at 10 pm okay everyone take care